Hello, everybody. This is a Brilliant Stars pack, sealed booster packs. There is six display cartons and 36 boosters in each carton. It's going to be a very, very interesting pool. This is the first ever video I've actually ever done on anything, really. So I'm going to be very excited to share this with every one of you. Um, hopefully I do pull something, but I'm not very lucky when it comes to pulling Pokemon cards, I gotta say. I mean, I always go to open Pokemon booster packs and, oh gosh, look at that. That is some sort of orgasm. Look at that. You know what? We're going to go straight down the middle. Go for this one. Let's see what luck it brings us. Wow, these booster packs, they're very, very beautiful. It's going to be a very, very interesting day. So, here we go. This is the Pokemon Brilliant Stars booster pack. Personally, I really, really like this collection. I'm usually just collecting Japanese cards most of the time because uh, number one, there's value in Japanese cards. They're always, uh, you know, the more expensive cards and, you know, it's always print properly as opposed to the English ones because, you know, sometimes, actually most of the times, the English ones are disgusting. The quality on it, like the centering, the edges, it's always smudged, the corners, you know. When possible, I really do like to send my cards to grade if I do get a nice hit card. So it's something I really uh, enjoy doing as well. So I do not usually get the English version, but you you know, lately, you know, uh, the Arceus set in Japanese is very, very difficult to get where I live. So that's the problem. That's the problem. And we started playing with English cards and it does seem that sometimes you know, uh, they are also a cheaper option as compared to Japanese. It is, they are very expensive, uh, the Japanese packs. And uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a very, very interesting day. We're going to start and uh, um, thank you guys for, for, for being here. You know, it's my first ever video. I hope we get some amazing pulls out of this booster box. I'm really confident. Uh, I really hope that we could, we could get a rainbow something. Today I was walking in one of our stores uh, in a 7-Eleven, picked up a booster pack and I pulled this bad boy. Definitely not a bad card. It's beautiful if you look up up close to it. The, sh the way it shines is just so, so cool. And you can see the details in the back as well. It's just a beautiful card to look after. Um, I really hope I can pull an English one. That's definitely one of the goals. And, and better yet, let's hope I find a Charizard. So, here we go. First pack. I know some people like to open it, but I like to cut it just to make sure that, you know, I could, um, these bags are better. <clears throat> I can actually reuse this. That's why I use it. I can slip the cards in there and stuff. So this is the code card for you guys. Okay. Four cards. Here we go. Water. Barry. Clang. Cynthia's Ambition, Staryu, Riolu, Starly, Neff, Starly, and this rare card is Distraptor. It's pretty nice artwork, to be honest. Look at it. I mean, he's flying in the sky and shit. Not bad. I'm going to keep this one, actually. So I usually keep my cards in a couple of piles. So the ones that I don't really want to keep, because not because they're not like valuable it's just i don't have enough space to keep so much cards so i do donate it to to a local you know shopping center for kids so that they can go and pick up these cards for free so yeah that's what i do and i'm gonna put the side to the side so that's our first code card <sighs> that's second pack Let's see what we get let let me know what you guys like you know i want to get to know you know, this community a bit more. Uh, after all, you know, it was honestly during the pandemic where I sort of got back into the Pokemon habit, you know. Whoop, this is the first V-Star card I've pulled. I don't know what's so good about it, but you know, Choice Belt, Fabrava. 
Ooh, this is cool. This card is cool. I'm gonna keep this one. Put it on this side. Star you. For the rare, we have a Libra. Oh, that's a cool artwork. I'm gonna keep that too. Hopefully we get a hit soon. We haven't been able to get anything. I was told that when the border is white, it's likely you will not get a uh, hit. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm still not very good at this. It's my first time doing it in front of a camera. But I do see why it's really fun. Oh, this Flygon looks nice, dude. I actually really like Flygon. But the, I know that there's this Flygon V card in this set. It doesn't, it's not really well designed. Um, I've got it, I've got a couple of it, but I just donated it afterwards anyways, because it's not a very well designed card. But this one looks amazing. It's cool. This is what I would think a Flygon would look like if I were to see it somewhere. So yeah, no, I love this card. I'm going to keep it. See, the thing is, a lot of people don't keep these so-called common cards. But the thing is, if you really look at it, there are some of the artworks which are absolutely really amazing. And I, I just really, really like some of it. And I do always collect those. I've always thought that, you know, some yes, sometimes it is. A, it, it cannot be not about the money at all. Like, it's impossible to think like that. There is always an element of money. Oh, we got a black. Oh, the first one. Well, the corner is a bit smudged, we can see there. So I hope, let's hope the hit card is not like that. This is the cold card. Okay. One, two, three, four. We can try guess the energy. I'm saying electric. Ooh, we got the electric. Okay. This is a nice artwork. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Friends and get What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, Lumenian V. This looks like one of those SR cards. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a cool fish. This fish is worth a bit of money, I'm told. Nice. We're going to sleeve this one up. It's an SR hit, so it's not really that bad. I mean, it's a secret rare if, we talk, if we're using the Japanese um, sort of configurations for it. But I'm not sure in English is it, is it also like this. Look at it, it's a really, it's a pretty good, nice card. The off, it's not, it's quite off-centered though. I don't know if you guys like to grade cards or not, but if you look at this, the right side is obviously bigger, the, the centering, so you can tell for sure this one, you cannot submit it to BGS. The back looks nice though. Corners seem okay. Yeah, if it wasn't for the centering, I'd say it'd be a pretty nice card. But still, it's it's a nice artwork. So this is a good hit I think we've got. Okay, on to the next pack. So let me know what you guys like or what great cards you guys have recently graded. Because I actually sent off two of these uh, Brilliant Star HR Charizards to PSA and BGS respectively. Um, Hoping to get a nice grade. We got another black card. I like it when we get the black cards. It's the code. It'll be very interesting what we pull from here. Fire energy. Wow. So fire energy. That's not a good sign, isn't it? Huh? Roseanne's back. Oh, that's a cool artwork. There's a lot of functions for this card, too. Hmm, maybe a useful card for kids. Stroomish. Tote wig. Last Jim Char in the last card we got Lucario Rare. I feel like Lucario makes his way into all of these sets. It's a bit redundant. I do like the artwork though, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool artwork. This Jim Char is not that bad too. You know, I gotta say, like it's pretty cute. He's just eating his fruits and stuff. Yeah, I would keep these cards. I think it's worth something worth keeping. Definitely. <clears throat> <clears throat> it is a very interesting hobby, I think, collecting Pokemon cards. Sometimes it's, people don't understand, oh, you're spending so much money on these things, you know? 
you really, really gonna make the money back? Is there a market for it? At the end of the day, dude, it's whether you like the cards or not, you know, what it means to you. Like for me, it was a part of my childhood, you know? They, there was a, I'm not gonna lie, there was a time where I didn't look back on these, think or think about these cards at all. Um, but, you know, that was back in the day and just, I mean, I don't really think that, um, you, you tend to move on from things in life, right? You can't always stick in the same sort of habit but um i was i'm happy that i for me i i got to got to get back into pokemon it was it was for me it was it it, it helped me bring up so much um memories when i was a kid i didn't get much money to buy these things which sort of does sort of explain the craziness i go through uh with these things these days i probably do openings a couple of times a week usually around three to four times just a couple of local card dealers which i'm very good friends with um and i get my cards from them um they open the store for us even till very late at night just to let us have fun so um yeah i really do like kibble i think it's a very very cute pokemon look at that look at that thing so cute i'm gonna keep this card trampage i do like trampage too but yeah i don't know about this one it's all right and the secret oh i do have this card it's a, it's a very warm artwork, you gotta say. The actual buzz is okay. Like it's not it's not very well designed, but anyways, it's it's not bad. It's pretty cute cards. Some kids somewhere we really appreciate and like it. Some people might ask me, so what, what do you collect for? You know, like I'm not gonna lie, dude. I like the good looking stuff. You know, the HRs, the secret rares, and all that. You know, I do like all that stuff. Do chase it. Do hope to grade though, get some rares cards. That is, of course, someone everyone's dream. But I do get, I, I enjoy the fun of opening cards. I don't know if you guys understand that. Like, it's so fun to open cards. Like, sometimes you might hit something or get something that's pretty cool. This card is pretty cool. Oh, it looks like a, yeah, that's a pretty cool card. Hmm. <clears throat> Eight next pack. Ooh, it's like this energy looks like they call it the Death Star energy. It looks pretty. It does really look like that. It's pretty cool. I do like it. Oh, this is a pretty chill dinosaur. Your chill dinosaur too. Yeah. So must be something must be up with this one. Look at her. She can do so much shit with this card. She's like holding a little bottle. Artwork's pretty nice. Hope to pull the full art one though. Cute little thing. Clefairy, it's a nice artwork. It's got the moon and all that, you know, like a little flower. It's very cute. It's very cute too. Ooh, Weevil and the monk. The Weevil, this, looks, this one looks pretty cool. So yeah, you know, you guys can tell me what is your favorite ever set. And then see if I can actually open it for you guys. So. I actually don't know. Let's see how this video goes, you know? Like, I don't really know if this is something I should be doing, to be honest. I just thought, I open so many cards every week anyway, so I might as well just record it when I have time, see what, if these things actually have people watching it. I mean, if you guys are like me, you guys like to watch these kind of things, I'll try to make more content. Because I, I, I realize the amount of money I spend on these damn things sometimes is more than more than normal so if dude, possible i do want to share these with you guys oh tornadoes i don't i don't this one's a reverse haul i just i'll collect the whole set yeah so i just if it, if it's something that people watch i'll definitely spend a bit more time otherwise it's not worth my time i do have a job i do work so yeah pokemon's a part-time hobby for me but I do think it's one of the more happier memories of life in this past couple of years. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, by the, by the way, I recommend you guys to watch this in like 
2 speed or like 1.5 or whatever. I mean, I, I oh, nice, we got our first character. I mean, I do that a lot, so it's, yeah, you know, ooh, this character rare looks pretty good. Okay, nice, so we've got a Clefable too. I really like this card, I'm gonna keep it. It actually goes as a set with the Clefairy just then, but the thing is, I think we're gonna get the Clefairy with no issues. We're gonna pull her again, so we'll match, just match the set later. It's a very, very nice card, solid. Centering is off. Buy quite a bit, but it's okay. It's a nice card, something nice to collect. So let me know what your favorite Pokemon is. I really want to know that too. I feel like I don't. We don't ask these questions enough, you know. And sometimes, like, ooh, this is cool. What's this? Well, this is a cool card. Keep that. I feel like we don't ask these questions enough. Um. And sometimes we don't, and this is not, this is actually the best way to understand the market and the people who are actually interested in these things. You know, it's to find out what they actually like. I mean, obviously the Charizard is like the most popular Pokemon, the one, the most expensive one, right? I, I get that, and it, it it's cool. I mean, Charizards are like everyone's dream dragon. But the thing is, you know, it's not only or always about the Charizard. And everyone should have there should be more preferences out there. So, yeah. Shroom <clears throat> Shrish. Skull. What do we have at the very back? It's a trainer card, Professor's Research. I actually, you know what? This name really pisses me off. And let me tell you why. So when celebrations first, long, um, you know, when you can first buy celebrations, I fucking went ape shit, dude. Like, I really like celebrations. As a set, I think the pull rates are good. And the hits that you get are always something you can keep, right? Because essentially, they're just cards that, are, that were very, very um, famous or very, very liked, very loved. So it, even if you were just there for the artwork, it makes sense. So I bought a fuckload of celebrations, like so much. And then I kept opening, and you always kept seeing Professor's Research. It really did piss me off a little bit. Oh, this looks... Look, I really do like this card, to be honest. I'm going to keep this one. I think it's worth keeping. Yeah, and Professor's Research always came out, dude. You know how pissed off I get sometimes. Like, I'm chasing a nice... Mew or Rayquaza or even, you know, Birthday Pikachu, Umbreon, you know, a lot, you know, and you give me this Professor's Research. Yeah, it was cool at the start, but imagine having like 150 of those lying around. Ooh, and the rare is a prelim. Okay, it's a cool card. Yeah, I, I mean, imagine that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like the name very much, too. So, we haven't actually pulled much yet, which is something, I don't know, maybe I'm going too slow or something. I'll try to go a bit quicker. I think I'm going a bit too slow. So, oh, cold card. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go open these. Ooh, I saw something, fuck. Okay, okay, fuck it, let's just jump to it. Ooh, Aragon V Max. Nice card. And then we've got the Vapor on. To be honest, these CHR character rares, I have so much of these. In like in the S9B Japanese version. Jeez, you wouldn't believe how many of these I have. But they're very nice cards. I think essentially they will rise in value. You can definitely keep these as part of your collection. They'll definitely go up. This is a nice car, nice pool too. It's quite nice. Quite actually PSA 10 condition too. Cool. So we did get something out of the box. I'm sorry guys, I mean I fucked up a little bit, but yeah.
Uh, I actually also really want to know what kind of people you guys are too. I don't want to try and be racist or like try to segment people or anything, but I just want to know like what, what what's that person like on the other side of the screen? Like what what's he thinking? Why did he get back into the hobby? What does he like? You know, I want to get to know you guys because it really does bring a sense of belonging in this game. As Pokemon, I think people really do learn. Oh, we were gonna put that back there. Yeah, we were gonna read something you can really learn a lot from. A lot of people really do like it, and then uh, um, yeah, I really do want to see what type of people are actually getting back into the hobby like I am, and I do think that a lot of people are like me actually and it's normal to be like this i know some people say oh you weren't here from the start or you weren't here five years ago and look it doesn't matter at the end of the day we all came back for a reason you know we love pokemon and you know, we love these cards i think they're brilliant and you know we want to be a collector and especially during these boring times of course we want to be even more um enticed right by things and people oh fuck that's a cool card that's a cool card that's a cool looking dragon i don't know if you guys play pokemon go this guy's been out quite a bit lately I haven't got a shiny one though fuck i'm gonna work on that but actually i really like this card i'm gonna keep that oh yeah what sort of a um, pokemon youtubers do you guys watch i mean i watch a lot of those too you've got your like leon Hart. you've got pokey cave pokey rev right that's his name i like him not a lot of people like him i think he's genuinely a good person he's real and i like it the way he presents content Ooh, turbo energy and we have a flygon v this was the fucking flygon v i was talking about dude like it it's not like such a it's not it's an okay card it's not a good looking card it's an okay card I put it in that pile like it's an okay card but jeez I'm not I think it really disappointed the Pokemon in general like yeah that's not good dude that's not cool I like Flygon I like I like Flygon and I like Salamence I think they are very very good Pokemon's from the third and fourth generation um obviously my favorite gener my favorite pokemon is actually mew celebi lugia these sort of first and second generations i mean they, they represented the time where i was watching pokemon very closely and i remember playing those games and spending so much time playing those games you know um it was it was something very special for me and i was very happy to have had it as part of my childhood I think Lugia is such a well-designed dragon, like, dude, the dragon that flies out of the sea, right? You don't hear that quite often. You always hear about the dragons flying out of the sky or, like, the mountains or whatever. But you never hear about a dragon flying out of the sea. See, that's why Pokemon is so successful, because Japanese people are so creative when it comes to, like, creating, like, these characters. It's become a global phenomenon. And I don't know if you guys know this, but... Pokemon is actually the most valuable brand in the world. Like more expen like more valuable than something like Marvel or like anything that you can think of entertainment wise. Like Hello Kitty and Pokemon. Like Pokemon's number one, Hello Kitty's number two. But you know, like they literally are worth more than the Avengers. Oh like much more. You guys can wiki that shit, it's like on there. Executor, Golet, Shemchar, Kung Fu guy, and we have boss's orders. I really don't like these. Like, I, I don't uh, like these, this type of hollow. Like, I'm not, I don't care what anyone says, right? I think these type of hollows are not very nice. It's not nice. Like, it, the lines is just like, it's so infuriating. It just pisses me off, dude. Like, they can obviously design this much better, but I think it's for a reason. Like maybe to just let you know that this is not anything special. I don't know. I don't like the. I don't like the way it it shines. These not reverse hollow and hollow cards. <clears throat> I think you might as well just leave it plain. 
because it actually looks better in plain. But I guess this is just to, you know, make up for the sets in the car in the in the whole set. So they for you, in order for you to collect the whole set, you probably need to purchase. Oh, fuck, I saw something. Something really big. Okay, ultra ball. Hit him on top. Pull up. Turn away. Schneezel. Clink. And we got our first character rare. No, it's not our first. I was just talking shit. But what do we have in the back? We got a gold card. We got a Zapdos V. Whoa. This is a very, very nice card. This is a very, very nice card. And it's a very rare card too. Very happy to have pulled this. Centering is way off. I'm not going to get a BGS 10. But it looks very, very nice. It looks very, 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 very nice. Okay, nice. It's a good pull. It's a very, very good pull. I, when I saw that gold, I was... Oof. Yeah, like I said before, when we were opening 25th anniversary, for me, the chase card was definitely the golden mew. So I kept always... When I saw... When I see these gold, like, sides, I just... Something tingles inside of me, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's actually been not a bad box, you know? To get a Zapdos V, it's not a bad box. This is one of the gold secret rares. It's not a bad box. Let's see what we get. I hope it's not the end of this box. So yeah, guys, if you do um, like the way I open these things or like like to watch these type of videos, I know I'm not the best at it, right? And I'm probably never ever going to be the best at it. But I just like to share this kind of stuff with someone. Sometimes I think it's really fun. It's a, I really like this hobby. Oh, I fucked up there, didn't I? But anyways, yeah, I think it's a very fun habit to have. Pokemon cards, and I want to share it with people, you know. I watch it, and I open as well, so I might as well just stream it like these streamers and see what people I can connect with because I feel like there's a lot of people out there who really love these card games. Yeah, you know, I don't like every single card. It's impossible to like every single card. If someone's telling you, oh, I love all Pokemon cards equally regardless. Like, that's bullshit, dude. You do not like all these cards easily. Just as you don't like every single Pokemon the same way, right? You cannot like all these cards the same. But there are some a lot of cards in here that I really like in this set. That's why I really want to pull. And that Zapdos is definitely one of those. I saw online, like, some guy who had to, like, pull 10 hours. This is a really cool card. Before they could even complete the whole set. And that's, like, non-stop. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm, sometimes it's just about the process. Oops, cool. It's probably much cheaper to buy the whole set than to actually open it. Because, yeah, it's it's funny. Because, like, opening it will take you a hell of a load of time. I didn't show you that, didn't I? Sorry, guys. This is the code. I think it's actually really fun for people to enter these code cards. Like, it's like a second redemption. You get like pull things again. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and you never know; it might be kind become some sort of value later on. I don't like these cards. Sorry. I just, I, I mean, I really like Cynthia. Um, I've got the Cynthia full art card in um, in, the, in the Japanese version, and I really, really like it. I've actually got two of those. Really liked it. Definitely gonna collect it. Might actually send it to Great because she was, she's cool. She's a badass, bro. The new set that's coming out in Japanese has this character secret wear with her and that um, and that shark thing. Jeez, that card looks so cool. Probably just buy that card though. That set there's not much. And the Star Me with um, yeah, Misty. Misty's hot, you know. I totally bone her. Ooh, this is a cool card. It's a cool card. I'll keep that. It's weird. The shit that I keep, sometimes it's pretty weird. Like, this is a cool card, too. But I don't like the reverse hollows, to be honest. I think reverse hollows are terribly designed. Definitely not there to withstand anything. Oh, my favorite boy. It's okay. One, two, three, four. Sorry, it's five. Oops, I kick. I try to go through these a bit faster. I don't usually open this slow. I usually just burn through it. Okay, wow, this is this card. 
Oh, okay. So what's the most like valuable card you guys have ever bought? That's something I want to hear. I'm always on the lookout for something. I don't think I have a card which I can say is my favorite card yet. I don't know if that's sad or what, but like, yeah, I am looking for it though, very, very um, actively, looking at what cards I would like. And yeah, I'm looking online, but I feel like if people list it online, usually they would just like rip you off anyways. It was, I'm like, oh, fuck this guy. I, I hate this dog, dude. Like I'll keep it, but I just I hate this dog. If you, it, it, then again, it is like if you if you were like me and you opened a lot of celebration packs, you would fucking hate this dog. Every time you see this dog, it means you got nothing. It took the hit. Yeah, pisses me off. Sorry, it's a lot of swearing on my channel, or that it is. But if you don't like it, you can always go away. Okay, oh triple ball. Oh yeah, by the way, I. Don't mind doing some giveaways, to be honest, when things go well, if people do watch this channel. If I get more than like 10K views in this video, for all my openings from now on, I'm gonna donate something from every opening. And I'm not gonna donate some like bullshit card, like a fucking triple R or something. I'm gonna give you guys a nice one. In fact, I'll give you guys one of the best cards that I pull from that video. Don't mind, I think that a lot of people are doing this and it's it's a sharing, you know? Pokemon cards is about sharing at the end of the day. It's about, I see it as t kind of an art piece that you share with people. Oh, I saw something, sorry. I don't, I don't stop doing that. I don't stop learning how to do this card trick properly. Star, are you? Fire Blast, Clefairy, Fairy, Should we? Sock. And what do we got? Oh, Charizard, V Star. Charizard, V-Star. This is not like a super rare card, but it's not bad. I mean, it is Charizard. Nobody's ever going to say no to Charizard, but it's definitely not the best Charizard card to pull. But I think it's a beautiful card to pull. I'll definitely keep it. I think it's got value. Investment-wise, I actually would keep, keep this card. They don't actually come out that much compared to the other cards. Definitely something you should keep. Yeah, it's a nice card to pull. Okay, so we got only like five packs left. Sorry guys, this is should be this actually should have been much quicker than it actually is now. This is like not very well managed. I do it. I do I, I I do agree on that. It should be improved if I'm actually supposed to do this for a longer period of time. But let's see. Not too panicked about that actually. One, two, three, four. I didn't show you the card, did I? Sorry guys. This is the code. Okay, here we go. Fire energy. This cat is fucking very arrogant one. Look at the eyes on that. It's quite nice. It's quite this is nice. I like it. Schneezel, this is actually not bad artwork. Smagwash. Oh, Mewtwo. Whoa. I really like this artwork, to be honest. I'm going to keep it. I got a friend, also a collector. Probably as crazy as I am. He loves Mewtwo. I'm going to give him that card. Today's going to be a good day, I hope. Ooh, what card? Oh, YPK. Mm. That's cool. I think the artwork this time is actually not bad. Like, I'm not going to lie. Compared to the other sets, the artworks for these common cards are actually a bit, a lot better than I thought. You know, I thought it wasn't going to be so good. Psychic energy. This is a cool ass card. Ooh, it's Sylveon V and the Mimic V. This is actually a CSR in the Japanese version. It's a very sort of the card. And I really do like it. This is actually a very, very, very good pull. I wasn't expecting this in this set, but dude, this is a nice pull. Look at it. It's, it's cute as fuck. Really do like that. The Mimic QV is a nice card too. It's a double R, I'd say. Yeah, it's quite nice condition. Dude, 
Oh, centering is not so good off, but it's okay. It's, it goes in the pile where I will collect it. All right, guys, we're down to our last two packs, right? Sorry, man. I mean, it should not have taken this long, but now we're down to our final two packs. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get some last packs magic, as they call it. But yeah, let's look at the pull rates after this, because I gotta say, like, we did get something quite good here in this pack, and I am quite happy about it. I keep this card; it's got look cool. I am quite happy with the overall pull rates. I think it felt like it wasn't too unfair. You know, sometimes it does that. But um, yeah, let's see. You know, what the pull rates are. It seems like we did get a couple of character rares. Uh, a couple of secret rares. It's the last cold card. One, two, three, four. And I'll go straight to it. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching and giving me your time. Let's go through the hits. So we've got the Sylveon, which is a fantastic looking card. We've got the Charizard. It's a very nice card, too. The Zapdos V, definitely the best pull from the card from this pack here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I've got the Dedane. It's a cute card. Girls will love this stuff. Agron V Max. Vaporeon. And Houndoom. Very, very good pulls, I think. And this guy as well. Yeah, this fish. Anyways, so that's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight. We got eight pulls. Yeah, that sounds about it. I heard there's like four six something and then one like secret rare or like two or something but anyways thank you guys for being here actually if this video hits 10k i'll give out this card these cards actually i'll just give you guys all these cards dude yeah just give out to 10 lucky oh however much cards there are the random winners um yeah thank you guys if you guys like this sort of uh video do subscribe and i hope i can bring you guys more stuff or i'll just keep opening cards and I'll see you guys when I see you guys and stuff. So take care. Peace out, bro.